Hey guys, Beauty Vixen here, another video. Oh my gosh, don't talk about me having on this shirt because I'm literally shooting eight videos today. Like I'm off, it's a Saturday, it's nice outside. I wanna get outside, so let's crank them out. Woo! All right, another hair video. This one isn't gonna be um, too long, but um, I wanted to do a review, my own personal review, and really, you know, answer some questions about the Friday Night Hair GLS09. Yep, me too. So, um, number one, welcome to my channel. Thanks for checking me out. What's up? <laughs> um, I've been seeing a lot of girls rock this GLS09. It's really pretty. You can apply heat to it even though it's a synthetic. It's a lace front wig, about two inches of lace from ear to ear, and then the two inches goes um, back. Natural hairline. I like to pull out a little bit of my own hair. This is not it, by the way. This is not it. Um, what I'm going to do, well, let me first tell about it a little bit. I ordered it online. It was $50. Um, it came super quick. Super quick. Take it that it came from Texas, Humble, Texas. It took about three days. It came in this, just one of those envelopes. Um, shipping wasn't bad. I spent about $56 altogether. Comes in here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this on and then um, talk about it for a little bit. Let's get to know it. GLS 09 by Friday Night Hair. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I cut the lace and I put her on. No tape, no glue. She's just literally clipped in the back. And she has two clips here, but I don't really put these in because they hurt me. Um, and a, like a bra strap thingy. Um, she does have quite a bit of lace. My issue um, with lace front wigs is I usually wear my hair parted down the middle. Um, if I part my hair and apply a uh, like a nude color cap, something that's like that color, um, you can see a line of demarcation where my hair ends or my natural scal scalp is, which is just a tiny bit darker um, than the nude color cap. And there's just a line. So what I do is I part my hair down the middle underneath of my wig and then I apply a wig cap that's black um, for the back and then um, just part the wig where, I, where it matches my natural part that's underneath. And it usually goes back about an inch or so. That way it, it doesn't really matter. I'm also tall. I'm about 5'9 with heels on. I hit a, a good six something. So not many people are looking on the very top of my head. Um, the only time I really get like, oh God, is when I'm sitting down and somebody's standing behind me. But then again, I don't really think that they're gonna, you know, question me about my hair. Um, I did um, put one side like down, how I would usually wear it, and then push one side back. Um, you can kind of see um, mine. Um, only because my natural hairline is very thin. Um, I'm working on it. So I kind of just keep it over. Um, it doesn't look very wiggy to, to me. However, um, I feel that the curls that are at the top of the head aren't fuller than the ones that are down at the bottom. Like the curl pattern is different, if you can see. Like this is all like Farrah and this is just like spiral. I don't know. It is very long. It's cut into layers, as you can see. So there's a couple layers going up through the top um, once you get shoulder length, and then um, there are layers going all the way down. It's very long. Let's show you. It's like 24 inches. Easy. It's very, very long. Um, shedding, not so bad, but it is very long. Now I have it like all pushed up so you're not going to get like all this fullness um, right away. But let's show you from the side and show you to the back. And yeah, you can still see. So it's nice. It's really, really nice. 
Um, I wanted a full lace wig, um, or at least something, I wanted a wig that I'd be able to put heat to, but I didn't want to spend human hair prices. Um, so that at least I can get used to having um, lace and parting and all that. So um, I want to see how this one is. I can apply heat to this up to 300 degrees, I believe. 325, 350, something like that. I need to check online. Um, what I want to do is wear this sucker out until the curls look a mess. Um, well, until the curls start to look a mess. And then I'll straighten it out and see um, how it is. I also want to try it out with some hot rollers because I've been seeing, um, I'm, I'm just, I haven't really seen anybody do it, seen, but I am, um, have a couple questions about it. How would it last if I put like a hot roller set in it, um, just with some thermal rollers and the ones that get warm, like the old school 80s ones. So I want to see how that'll do. Um, it'll be fun. I like it. It's a little dressy. So this right now is probably like I'm going out on a hot date or it's my birthday, something like that. It's going to be special occasion. I'm not rocking this every day to work, not my $50 wig, which leads me to a whole nother case. Um, well, another video. If you guys have any questions, this again is the Friday Night Hair GLS 09. I want to get the GLS 43, however, it's sold out. And I believe there is one more that I have my eye on. But um, I'm not buying no hair right now. I got enough. Did y'all see the other videos? I got enough hair shoved underneath my bed to last me until the end of the earth. Literally. So I won't really be buying anything else. I do like it. I really think it's pretty. It's nice and full. She's in a one. Because you know I love me a wig and a one. A 1B is too light. Not the way I color my hair. Nice. Any questions, loves, let me know. Just ask. I don't think I have any secrets on this page. Y'all know about everything. Just ask. Comment. Um, I'll put the information of where to get the wig down in the description bar. Okay? Thanks, guys, for watching. We fix it up.